Hello, my online flock, and as always, go flock yourself. It's time for another fun, exciting, maybe action-packed, possibly, award-winning, certainly not, episode of Fat Guy Theater. Today's topic, Mr. Spock. That's right, I'm a Star Trek fan. Classic cast, newer uh, ones with the reboot. Motion picture's my favorite. Anyway, now, in the Star Trek from 2009, Spock travels back in time and winds up in like an alternate timeline and he winds up meeting his younger self. Now, in Star Trek uh, Beyond, the older Spock dies. Now, if the older Spock dies, why did they have to tell the younger Spock that the older Spock died? Wouldn't the younger Spock sense that he in fact died? And the fun thing is if the younger Spock is still alive, but the older Spock is dead, the younger Spock can go to his own funeral. How many people get to go to their own funeral? No one that I've ever met. Now here's another one for you, because I like to work uh, blue. You got Star Trek III. Spock gets reincarnated, he gets regenerated, he goes through the pond far, so he winds up fucking Savick. Now if he's fucking Savick, Shouldn't the Spock in the other timeline also be feeling the pleasure of himself fucking Savick in the other timeline? You figure since it's two versions of the same person, they're probably experiencing some stuff. I don't know for sure, but... And the funny thing is... Uh, the Savick he fucked was different than the Savick in Star Trek 2 because they changed actresses. So everybody's coming and going, time traveling, fucking, changing haircuts, all kinds of shit. But the young Spock should say, hey, this is neat. I'm going to my own funeral, and then after that, I can go home. Can't beat that. 